Today, I'm going to show you how to make this Spider-Verse effect inside of DaVinci Resolve and how to save this effect. All you have to do is copy this no tree and you're done. Whoosh. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is rotoscope whatever you want to apply this effect to. I'm not going to go over that in this video because there's a thousand different ways to do it. And I already have a video about different ways to rotoscope things. But if you don't feel like watching that video, just use Runway ML. Anyways, now that you have the rotoscoped video, we're going to layer everything like this so it all matches up. And then you're going to highlight everything. Right click, new fusion clip. Head on over to fusion all right so let's start off by relabeling these nodes so we don't get confused later on if i select media in two and then hit two on my keyboard you can see this is the rotoscoped video so i'm gonna hit f2 and type in roto and that means media in one that's just the regular background video so we're just gonna relabel that one video and while we're here we're just gonna rearrange these nodes like this so it's not as confusing and we're actually going to disconnect the roto node and you know what while it's selected let's hit two on our keyboard so we can see only that right after it let's add a blur node blur doesn't really matter which one but we're gonna bump this up a little bit like so and now we need that solid color look so to get that we're gonna drop in a background node and connect the output of our blur to the blue arrow bring that over to the second viewer window bam it's just one solid color but this is not the color we want so i'm going to select color and just change it to something random for right now little less pukey okay now we could use the background node to select the specific color we want or we could drop in a color corrector node plug that in bring it into the window and then we can use this wheel to really get the color we want and i prefer doing this because you'll notice we get this different color on the edges if we play this back it's looking pretty good so far except we're missing all of those duplicated bits now we could copy paste this a bunch of times but that's useless because we could add in a duplicate node so hit shift space and then type in duplicate bring that into the window uh bump up the copies and it's gonna look like we really haven't changed much here however if i slide this x-axis hey look at that all the copies are here but um that's not quite what we want so i'm going to reset this by double clicking it instead i'm going to bring down my time offset and what should happen is that the duplicates are going to be moving at a different speed so each one is moving 0.5 seconds slower than the last one there's only two problems here one they're all the same color and two it's sitting on top of each other so it looks kind of funny so let's fix that. First of all, we can just check merge under. Boom, that fixes that. Um, and then go over to jitter. We're gonna open up gain and just bring up gain all the way for each setting. And you'll notice the colors have started to change behind it. Now it's not quite what I want. So what I could do is just hit reseed a bunch of times. So now we got this pretty trippy looking effect going on, but we're still not quite there. I mean, this, this looks, sort of like glow but not really so let's add some actual glow here after the duplicate note i'm gonna hit shift space and type in soft glow bring that here hey hey that's a little bit much so we're just gonna tweak the settings there we go something like this that's starting to look pretty good we're missing the actual vandal on top of all this because right now it's kind of hard to tell what's going on so let's uh make some more space here after this soft glow we're going to add in a merge node connect that to the gold arrow and then with our media node the roto node we're going to connect that to the foreground element if I bring merge two into this window by hitting two on my keyboard bam there you go this is starting to look pretty good but not really because we're missing the half tone so we got to make that real quick i'm gonna drop in a background node and hit one on my keyboard and i'm gonna bring up that first viewer window by clicking this button right here now i'm gonna change the color to white and i'm going to connect an ellipse node to the blue arrow so now we have a a, a mask also Let's bring up that soft edge just a little bit here. Now, after the background, I'm going to add a 
crop node. And this is so we can resize this to a square image so that way we can tile it and we don't have to, to do anything crazy. Now in the crop node, I'm going to check keep centered and then I'm going to change the, a the X size to 1080. Bam, after the crop, we're gonna add a transform node. And before we continue, let's just drop in another merge right here, connect that to there, and then this to there, bring that into this, and now we can kind of see what's going on here. Now in the transform node, what we're going to do is change the edges from canvas to wrap, and then we can bring down our size, and you'll notice it's starting to duplicate itself. The only problem, it's not duplicating for the entire video. So what we could do, it's going to merge and then change the edges and the merge from canvas to wrap as well. Also, let's not just make this smaller. Let's also add a little bit of an angle to it. So it's kind of interesting looking. Now, I know what you're saying. This looks kind of goofy, but we can fix that. All we have to do is change the apply mode in the merge. Personally, I chose hue, but you can mess around with all the apply modes. Now you'll notice we have uh, these half tones on places where we shouldn't have the half tones. So to fix that, we're gonna take the output of merge two and connect it to the blue arrow here, bam. Now we could call it quits right here, but there's two small little details that I added to my Spider-Verse looking effect. The first one is chromatic aberration. We can find this by going into our effects, templates, fusion, tools. There it is, chromatic aberration. Now add this in between merge two and merge three. We can hold left shift, left click, drag it over top, but bam. So now that it's looking a little glitchy, let's add some more glitchy effects. After the chromatic aberration, we're going to hit shift space and type in displace, add that in. Now with this node, we need to have something generate it. That means we have to drop in a fast noise. We're gonna connect that to this green arrow. You saw that movement? Well, that's because the, the fast noise, oh, hold on. <laughs> The fast noise looks like this, and it's applying uh, the thing over there, so then it does that thing. Listen, don't ask me to explain it fully. All I know is that we're gonna bring up our seeth rate, then we're gonna bring up our scale. Now we got some waviness going on, and we can bring up our detail to get some, some crunch going on in here. Look at this. All we have to do now is take merge three and connect that to merge one, and then select media out one and then hit two on our keyboard so we can actually see what the final result looks like. Now, if we play this back, it doesn't look very good. And that's because we gotta do some keyframing, but luckily it's just a handful of them. It's really not a lot. First of all, I'm just gonna go kind of somewhere in the middle right here. And in the duplicate node, I'm going to add a keyframe for my time offset. And then when I catch the vandal, probably here, right there, right there. I'm gonna set the, reset the time offset to zero. And then I'm gonna do the same thing in the beginning. I'm gonna have it at zero. So now when I bring the gun up, it starts to get a little crazy looking and then it goes back down to, to normal looking. Except not really because we still have this outline and that's actually really easy to do. We're gonna keyframe the opacity in our merge, merge one, the main one. Add a blend keyframe here. Add a blend keyframe where uh, the, the same time offset is right there. Keyframe and then add, add another keyframe at the beginning. Keyframe. Now the first and the last one, we're gonna bring down to zero, zero. So if we play this back, that's so cool, man. Okay, so we got this crazy node tree going on here and it would be kind of a pain to have to make this every single time we wanna apply this effect. So let's save it. So just uh, undo those um, timing offset keyframes. Anyways, highlight everything except for the merges down there. So we, ju we just have the effect highlighted and we don't have the roto. We got everything here, okay? Nothing down here. So we're gonna right click any one of these highlighted nodes and then macro, create macro. Now this is, this is a lot to, to look at right here. It, it's just all the nodes that are in our node tree. So let's start off with a macro name. We're gonna name this whatever. I'm gonna label it uh, tutorial, T not test, tutorial. T Tutorial. Yeah, so these red ones are saying we got something checked there. 
And I made the mistake of unchecking the blur, but we actually do want the blur one checked. So merge two, we do want that input, but the chromatic aberration, we don't want that output. And the directional blur, we don't want that output. Um, the merge three, we do want the output, but we have to add a couple other things too, right? The duplicate node, we want, uh, you know what? Copies, that could be important. We want timing offset obviously uh jitter randomly pick a color we want that too we can also relabel these random color color seed um what other things might you want to control maybe some stuff in the color corrector like um uh the the wind the wheel tint anyways once you have everything selected that you want what you'll do is go to file and then save as and then tutorial you just save it if we hit shift space and we look up tutorial there it is that's the node we made we made that one and and look at this watch this watch this we we take this connect it there take that connect it there take this connect it there look at that now we can now we can just do all the keyframing in this tutorial node Remember the timing offset? I think it was at like, oh God, 0.5. And then, you know, we just match it with this one and we make it at zero. And then we match it with this one and we make it at zero. That's the thing that we just made. Also, what's really cool is that we can change the color here. Now let's just say you wanna share this with a friend. Well, what you could do is uh, go back in the macro find uh the macro uh open this and then save this to like your desktop you send them that file and then you can open it up or they can open it up and then just take it and drop it right there boom we we got it now it doesn't automatically get saved to davinci so what they would have to do is right click macro create new macro and then they would just save it Anyways, that's how you make the Spider-Verse effect. Um, if you want this, instead of making this, you can join the Discord and it'll be there for you to have. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or join the Discord and either myself or someone else can help you. That's the video. Goodbye.